Hello, it looks like we're live. And yes, I'm back. <laughs> I was off, uh, well not off, obviously, because I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't going anywhere. But uh, Monday I was ill and I don't know what had happened. I just came over super like, dizzy and had to literally hold onto the wall when I was standing in the shower. It was crazy, but I am back. And this is, I think, oh my goodness, what even episode is this? 11. 12. It's episode 12 of Stay Calm, Grounded and Connected with My Zen Days. Um, and today I want to, well, first of all, I have to say I'm totally buzzing because I've literally just this second had a video testimonial. Hello, thanks for joining. Um, I've just had a video testimonial come in from one of my students on the meditation course. So this is a four week meditation course that I run. And um, Actually, what came out in the testimonial was exactly the intention that I had when I created the course, which was to help to guide people through what is it, what is it not, put all the weird ideas out of your head um, and not make the whole thing woo woo and weird because some people still think that it really is. And so in his testimonial, this, this is a, it, it's a guy called Gareth and he is, he's a director at uh, Coca-Cola actually. So he has got a big job, a busy job. He travels all the time, he sleeps all over the shop. Um, and so when we first started talking about the course and I was explaining to him um, how it worked, he was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to give that a go. And so he's just sent me this testimonial and he's saying I'm four months into having a daily meditation practice because of the course. I love it. It's had a profound impact on my life. Um, it's totally transformed my sleep beyond recognition. And I do like I have this daily meditation practice that I do in the morning, but I actually find myself using and like implementing the techniques during the day, uh, which is exactly, exactly what the aim was because in in the course it's all about you know different techniques to make you feel this way that way so if you want to be energized and have a great big sort of energy surge here's a breathing technique for that if you want to be relaxed and calm and learn how to go to sleep da, 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 then here's a nice you know technique for that and we talk in the course all around you know how your mind is a garden and your mind is a garden and you know whatever seeds you plant is what's going to take root and so if you are full of negativity and full of negative thinking spirals and that kind of thing, then if you don't intervene, if you don't interject and make a change, then that's what's going to grow in your mind. So actually the way that I teach the Maizende technique, it's about having empowering, positive um, affirmations, mantras and thoughts that you literally cultivate, you plant and you cultivate them every single day and you water them in your mind. I mean, it's just, it's the most powerful thing in the world and it's the most transformative thing because if you think about your mind as being like a supercomputer you know and people do say Jim Quick who's like one of the leading brain dudes in the world he says you know your brain is like a supercomputer and your self-talk so the things that you think about is what is going to be the program that runs so whenever I think about and talk about the brain as being like a supercomputer if you imagine it that like say you've got this old shit laptop hello thanks for joining say you've got this old um shit laptop with like you know crap programs on it that are like super but ancient versions, uh, ancient versions of programs, you are not going to be able to create documents, um, you know, stream stuff, you're not going to be able to do fancy PowerPoint presentations or anything that you want to do because you've got these old rubbish programs on them. Um, and so actually the, the point is that you've got to keep refreshing your hardware, you've got to keep refreshing and updating and renewing and rejuvenating the program that you are running your computer on but it's the same for your life it's the same for your life like you need to be upgrading and up um upgrading and up leveling the way that you think and the programs that you're running in your mind and and i was giving a talk actually to uh, a, a group of um corporate people a few just a few weeks ago and i was saying like you know when it comes to your brain in the morning you can either you can either roll out of bed and hope for the best Okay, you can roll out of bed and hope for the best and hope that your attitude's going to support you and hope that the things that you're saying to yourself on repeat are going to be helpful and going to support you. And you go out into your day just feeling quite hopeful or 
you can set an intention in the morning to say, I'm actually going to need to program this thing to be able to get me the results that I want during the day, to be empowering myself and giving myself confidence that I can do the stuff I want, that I will find ways around the obstacles and the problems that come and the people, the difficult situations that will come as well. And so it's the different, like having a meditation practice and living in a meditative sort of lifestyle, I think you know, some people think that you meditate just to become totally relaxed and totally zen-like and that you might all, you might just as well fall unconscious, right? Because you're so relaxed and, you know, and, and nothing's a problem. And actually, it's just not that. So let me just dispel that myth. It's not that. It's not that you just relax yourself into a stupor and sit on your Zafu cushion, your meditation cushion all day long, oblivious to the problems in the world. It's not that at all. You do it so that you can give your mind a mental rest so that when the time comes that you need to be switched on, you need to speed up, you need to perform and you need to be really active and problem solving and doing all those kinds of things that you can actually do it. So there's a brilliant there's a brilliant kind of quote about, you know, you need to be able to slow down so that you can speed up. So if you've got this kind of thought in your head about meditation being, you know, just of very calm, it's all very calm, you know, and very boring and just relax, then think again. Like this is really about supercharging your brain and it's about allowing yourself the mental space and having a little bit of space to just give yourself a little bit of a breather and give yourself some mental calm and take the opportunity when you when you are relaxed to plant positive seeds and thoughts and ideas into your head because your brain is a supercomputer your brain is a supercomputer and whatever you tell it whatever you say to yourself is the program that is going to run so like i say you know if you roll out of bed and, and this is the case for so many people, and it really used to be the case for me as well. You'd roll out of bed, you know, you haven't done any priming in your head, no priming. Um, have a shower, thinking, 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 you know, getting ready for work. Have a look in the mirror, uh, don't, you know, I don't love what I see. Maybe say some shitty things to myself. Uh, and then speed off and go to work. You know, and that, that, that's like the kind of lazy man's version of a morning. And so if you're going to have that kind of morning, they, then you're going to get um, you, you, you're going to get lazy man's results. So if you don't prime your brain in the morning to set yourself up to be clear about how you want to feel about yourself, what you're going to tell yourself, that you're going to tell yourself you are capable, you can do it, you will find a way through. Um, then you're going to go off and have just really scattered results. But if you take the time, if you take the time, hello everyone, I've got a couple of my students on as well, so maybe you'll agree with me guys, uh, hopefully you will. So if you take the time in the morning to prime your brain, to program your computer that is your brain, your supercomputer brain, if you take the time to program it, to relax your brain, to relax your body, to tell yourself what is possible, to focus on the good, then a hundred percent, a million percent, you're going to have such a better experience of your day and such a better experience of your own attitude, your own capability, your own willingness, your own ability to be really clear with how you can get about your day. So so this is, I'm just having a look at the uh, the comments here. Teresa, hi Teresa, she's saying, I think that's why in the past I couldn't meditate. I so get this now. Yes. So the, there's some basics really that I would love people to understand, which is it's not about meditating yourself into a calm stupor so that you can just sit on the floor you know, with some joss sticks and, uh, and zone out, right? That is not it. And, and so that you can kind of go about your life like this. That is not it. It is a way, for sure, it is a way of practicing and getting your brain and your body to practice being relaxed. And you need this if you're the kind of person that is non-stop, 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 always going, rushing around, rushing around, rushing around, thinking, thinking, doing, doing, making, baking, you know, all that sort of thing. If you are non-stop, then think about that. 
because you're not going to be giving your brain and your body an opportunity to relax. And so the way that that's going to show up as a bit of a problem, probably, um, is when you go to sleep. So you try to go to sleep, but your body is so not practiced, so not practiced at being able to relax itself that you just start churning. You've got all of this energy and you start churning and you're thinking about all these things and all the stuff that you need to do. Actually, if you had this daily meditation practice where every day you practice resting your mind, resting your body, being relaxed, saying positive things to yourself, being in that physical, physiological relaxation response where your heart rate comes down, your blood pressure comes down, your breathing rate slows, and you're in this situation and in the environment where you can stimulate brilliant feels, feelings of well-being, happiness, relaxation in your body. The more you practice it, the more familiar territory it is. That's what I want everybody to understand. The more you practice getting your mind and your body into that state of relaxation, the more familiar you are, the more familiar your brain is and your body is because it knows what to do. And so that's why they say that like people who meditate are the best sleepers in the world and that the only people who are better sleep, the only thing that's better sleepers than meditators is hibernating bears, right? It's a, it's a, it's a corny, funny joke in, the, <laughs> in my world. But so you can either be a hibernating bear or you can practice, you can practice understanding and getting your body and your mind into that relaxed state so that when you need it, when you need to be relaxed, when you need your mind to slow down, then there you are, you're in bed, you're going to sleep, your body knows what to do, your mind knows what to do. You're not, and that's different, and you know, tell me, tell me if it's making sense, but if you don't do that, then all day, if you're on the go, on the go, on the go, busy, 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 always doing, always thinking, always solving problems, always fixing stuff, and, and then you get into bed and expect to just go to sleep. Like, it's not really gonna, it's not really gonna work. You have to have built the muscle. You've got to have built the muscle that says, I know how to calm myself. I know how to relax my mind. I know how to relax my body. And I can use that in the times, either when I feel really stressed, or I feel really overwhelmed, or I'm starting to feel a bit, you know, anxious, or when I'm going to sleep. And I remember, I remember, um, it was a few years ago now, there was a friend, there was a friend of mine who had, she suffered really badly with panic attacks and anxiety. And so I had been talking to her a bit about meditation, I'd been talking to her a bit about the breathing exercises. And she, she'd, she had this period in her life where she was kind of, and if anyone, you know, if anyone's been through this, you'll know it kind of comes in, in, uh, in peaks and waves. And so she was going through a period where she was really, really struggling. And she came back to me and she said, I'm, I'm trying the breathing techniques and it's just not working. Like I'll be in the middle of having this massive sort of sense of overwhelm. I'm trying the breathing techniques, but they're not working. And so the conversation was was very much along the lines of, you know, please don't tell me that you that you don't do anything to look after your well-being on a day-to-day -day basis. And then when you're feeling like this, you suddenly try to do a breathing technique. She was like, well, yeah, <laughs> you know, and actually when you say it like this, and I'm not saying it to be unkind, I just mean that when when you look at it like that, you can't, you can't, you can't fail to say, well, actually, of course, that is not going to work. That is not the strategy because it's like with anything, anything that's worth its salt is something that you do consistently. You know, it's something that you practice and that you get good at and that your body gets to know and your brain gets to know. So, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, for example, like sign up for a marathon in September and then wait until, you know, the halfway through August and suddenly start going on massive, massive runs in the hope that that's going to prepare you for the marathon in, in a couple of weeks time. That just wouldn't work. Like, and also you wouldn't, you wouldn't wake up in the morning and eat so much food, right, that it covers you for breakfast, lunch and dinner and then expect to be full all day. It's not comfortable, it's, it's excessive, and it's not sensible. And it's missing the point, which is it's consistency 
over time that's what's going to give you your results and remember you know they always say that like first you make your habits and then your habits make you so if you want to have a way of being able to relax your mind still your mind feed yourself positive like positivity and positive empowering i can thoughts then you don't want to just take yourself off on a spa weekend for two days once every six months because it's probably like boom or bust and this is not you know your well-being is not a kind of once it's done once and it's a done deal it's got to be something that you work on every single day and, and I'm not saying, by the way, either that meditation is the single silver bullet that's going to solve all of your problems. I don't think that it is. I think you have to always take a step back and have a look at your lifestyle and have a look at what are the things that are in your bag that actually really support you, that really help you. So it could be things like, so I'll, I'll give you mine as an example. And thanks for the love hearts. That's so sweet. Mwah! So for me, for example, it is definitely it's meditation. It is meditation every single day, 20 minutes. If I'm really, really stuck for time, it's a bit less. If I've got more time and I feel like, you know, I'm going to indulge myself, then it'll be half an hour probably. So it's meditation. It's journaling for sure to just tip all that shit out of your head that's going round and round in circles. It's mindfulness practice, which is the practice. Again, it's this consistent practice of present moment awareness every day, but multiple moments throughout the day. Um, what else? It's walking, it's eating good food um, and it's making sure that I have some time as well on my own because I'm like an introvert and I love this. <laughs> but I get that when I do a meditation, but I love just pottering around in the house on my own. I love people and I love my family, um, but I just honestly, there's nothing like it for me than just having the time on my own where you haven't got to answer to anybody, you haven't got to do anything, you can sit and read a book. It's just incredible. So, so what I'm saying like meditation is not it's not a silver bullet it's really not but it is a bullet it is a bullet if you think about the arsenal that you need in terms of looking after your own well-being so the question for you today is what is in your bag in terms of how you look after yourself in terms of what really nourishes your soul and what nourishes your spirit what keeps you sane mentally what keeps you going and energized physically um, because you really need to be having a look at like all, all of those different aspects um, to help you feel good. And so I have actually got an, uh, I've got an offer for you. Sorry, I've just done something weird with my screen. Um, so I've got an offer for you. If, if you like the idea of meditation and you like the idea of things like visualization, relaxation, and if you also fancy doing something that is going to give you a boost physically as well, then I want to invite you to Uplift on Sunday. So Uplift is, it's a two hour experience. It's a two hour event that uh, that I run with Steph Schilling, who is a really brilliant friend of mine. And we normally do it in Whitley Bay at Steph's studio, Studio Velo, which is like super cool. And anyone who's been, uh, you'll know, you'll know that. But Uplift is it's an opportunity where we spend we spend time trying to help you nourish your mind, body, and soul. Okay, and so it's it's an online because normally we do it in Whitley Bay, but obviously with uh, with the situation that we're in now, we're doing it just online, which means that you can join no matter where you are, whether you're in England, whether you're in Ireland, um, you know, no matter where you are, you're welcome to join. So it's on this Sunday between six and eight, uh, between six and eight p.m. And the first hour is all about helping you and teaching you how to stretch and strengthen your body. Now, this is really important because you need to bear in mind that you store energy and emotion in your body. And if at the moment that energy is one of anxiety, it's worry, it is fear, then actually you need to move that out. You need to move the energy out of your body. OK, so for the first hour, what we do is a Pilates class with Steph, who's a certified Pilates teacher. And this is all about stretching and strengthening and elongating your muscles and making you feel. Um, yes, Jenny, and I've got a I've got a surprise for you. Um, so um, 
you just took, put me off. I'm gonna have to tell you a surprise shortly. <laughs> um, so yeah, so helping helping your body, helping your body to feel strong and able, and moving your emotions and getting rid of the energy. Okay, that's what you want. And then the second half is where I come in and do some mind stretching. So she's Steph stretched your body, and you're feeling good and strong and more capable and more able and empowered. And then I come in for the next hour and do some really lovely and much needed at the minute relaxation, uh, some meditation as well, and some visualization often. And so again, this is where you've exercised the power of your body and now you're gonna be exercising the power of your mind. And for a lot of people, this is the first time that they've ever spent any proper time in years just focused on themselves and it's beautiful like Jen's just saying here because Jen, Jen's been to our um to our events would love to join on Sunday it's an amazing session and and it is it really is and Jen, Jen's also a student on um, the meditation course and I've just announced about I don't know 20 minutes ago um that actually as part of a, like a bonus for being in the meditation course I've invited everyone who's a meditation student into Uplift on Sunday for free. So Jen, yes, uh, you've got your place. That's great. And actually anyone else, if you're thinking about, if you've been thinking about doing the Meditation and Me course, um, then now would be a perfect time to do it because I'm offering as a free bonus for anybody who, who signs up to it, you can come to Uplift on Sunday for free. If you're not part of that and you just wanna come along and you're thinking, what's it all about? Is it a bit odd? Is it funny? Is it is it going to be as good as she says it is? Then come and try it out for yourself. It's literally, it's £10 to join the online. It's normally £25 in person. But because it's online, it's just £10. Uh, it's a two-hour session. It's between six and eight on Sunday. And the theme is authentic living, right? And this, so, so this is all about giving you a boost in terms of having the courage to live life on your terms and to be more you um and actually one of the one of the reasons that i chose that as the theme way back when with steph was because i was really moved when i read um about the top five regrets of the dying this is not morbid okay this is just a thing um so the top five regrets of the dying the number one regret of people who were dying was they said i wish i'd had the courage to live a life true to myself and not the life that other people expected me to and not the life that just pleased other people and and i i know that because that's been part of my experience as well where i've made a lot of decisions and i'm not going to call them mistakes but just decisions that didn't turn out the way i would have liked them to um in order to just please other people and i've done things in the past that i didn't really want to do just because I thought it was what other people wanted me to do. And I was probably wrong, um, but, I, but I did them. And I think it's over the course of the last probably 20 years that I've had a few like proper blows, like metaphorical blows around the head that have said, you know, why have you just not gone with what you wanted to do? Why have you not gone with your sort of your intuition and done the thing that you know is right why have you gone and done the thing that, that's that's just been something that you thought was going to be what other people wanted you to do? And I feel like, you know, at, at certain points, I felt like I paid the price for that. Um, but I know why I did it. I know many of us do do it. But I also have come out the other side and I know that the only way to be truly happy is when you're like yourself and when you are able to be yourself and you allow yourself, yourself to be really you. And, and step into that way of living and being unapologetic about it and just saying, no, you know, I'm not, I'm not even gonna make up stories anymore about what I think other people want me to do because I just don't give, a, I don't give a rat's ass anymore. This is what I wanna do and this is what I'm gonna do. And I think there's so many people who are like me and who are like what I was like a few years ago who need that boost and who need to know it's okay. It really is okay to just be fully you and you're going to have a better time in your life and people are going to have a better experience of you in your life as well if you're able to find the courage to just push yourself push yourself and that's what i want to do on uh, on sunday and actually through all the uplifts so the uplifts are always about stretching and strengthening your body so that you know and you feel that you're fully kind of physically able um, and then teaching you some relaxation exercises i've got an incredible relaxation exercise for sunday night 
uh, and then doing some visualization as well to help you tap into your power that is there and that does exist even if you don't think that it does so that you can go on to have a kind of more inspired and more uplifted version of your life. How cool is that? So if you, if, if you are one of the Meditation and Me students already, that's my gift to you. You're totally welcome to come along, totally for free. Um, if anyone's been thinking about doing the Meditation and Me course, then now would be a really good time to sign up for it because you get to come to Uplift um, for free on Sunday and that'll save you a big ass £10. Um, but if you don't, if, if you're not kind of a meditation student, you're not thinking about doing it and you just want to try it out, then uh, then come along for £10. It's going to be a beautiful two hours. You'll have You'll need to find your own space in your house where you're not going to be disrupted uh, and distracted. Light a candle, bring some water and a journal, as usual, and um, yeah, and prepare to be, uh, prepare to be relaxed and blissed out, I think, by the end of it. So something a bit different. Um, I'd, love you, I'd love to see you there. I'd love you to come and uh, try it with us. So if you've got any questions about it, then do let me know. Um, but yeah, just put your dip your toe into this meditation stuff. And I'm going to share this new testimonial as well because it was the best thing. It was the best thing to get this video this morning. And it was literally like t 10 minutes before I came on live as well. Um, and it's Gareth from, from, from the Coca-Cola company just saying this is literally like, it's transformational. It's improved my sleep. I feel like I've got all these practices where I can just do it throughout the day. You know, so he kind of does the setup for himself in the morning that kind of puts him onto the path for having a really good, positive, empowered, confident day um, with a good kind of a, a good sense of peace of mind as well. And then you just practice the techniques as you go throughout the day. And he's four months in. Um, so I'm super proud. I love, love teaching this stuff. And I love doing the events as well. So either have a look at the course, I'll put the link in, um, or have a look at uh, at Uplift. And thank you so much, everyone, for joining. It is so lovely to see you. And, uh, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.